What's going on YouTube? In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the cover six and explaining why some of your guys' cover six defenses is causing you um, significant, and I mean significant problems against trips-based offenses like Bunch or U-Trips or Trips Tight End. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want you to hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now, cover six is, in my opinion, probably the best match defense in this game, at least from a pure match concept um, or a pure match defensive perspective. It gives you some of the best uh, principles in terms of how the coverage works. And so it's a really great defense. The problem is if you don't understand how it actually works, you can kind of over adjust it and put yourself in a position where it's really, really easy to burn uh, for a one play score. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples um, of how that's going to work. I'm just going to set a uh, I'm going to first come out in bunch and then we'll talk about trips as well. So uh, we're going to first open up with Z spot from uh, bunch. Let me make sure that I got my best players in here and we're going to show you why cover six is so good. So I'm going to go grab bunch trail and then I'm also of course going to grab a Z spot and go and we're going to start out in Z spot and go because we can kind of hot route the rest of it. Uh, but anyways, let's just grab a cover six and this is any cover six. It doesn't, it doesn't just have to be nickel three, three, five odd, even though I do believe that three, three, five odd is really, 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 really good. Um, especially with some of the latest patches and how it's a little bit easier to stop the run. Um, three, three, five odd is really, really good. But anyways, let's take a look at Z spot. So if I just run this concept right here that you see on your screen, you're going to see that this does a really good job. As you can see on the right side, it bags the corner route um, over there on the right side of the screen. Now the problem becomes is this, and really it's this, it's it's really as simple as this uh, verticals. If I can go to the play verticals here, you're going to see that the running back, if I just put the running back on an in route, this can be very problematic for this defense because um, you'll see that the running back typically can outflanker them to this side. And a lot of the time it's because you take that zone right there off of the screen. And so just to illustrate that, I'm gonna you know kind of take this guy, let's say I, you know, man him up on somebody or whatever, right? And then maybe I drop the, uh, maybe I drop this guy into a bluff blitz assignment and he is now my three rack hook. Um, even though I keep the same basic principle, you'll notice that what happens is the running back just has a lot of leverage. If they've got a backfield mismatch or master, that throw right there is open all day long. And so a, a simple way to counter that though, is to take your uh, slot corner and uh, put him into a curl flat. So I'm going to put my slot corner curl flat. I'm going to man this guy up on the tight end so I don't get burned um, over the top. That's probably the easiest way to stop a lot of the bombs. And what you'll see is in verticals, this curl flat zone is going to do a really good job at helping rally and tackle the running back. Another really good example of why you might want to put a curl flat defender out there is in a situation where your opponent runs the play flood, um, which again, I'm just gonna give you some simple uh, some simple adjustments here, but it basically is, is, is this, if I can get my, there we go. So there's flood, if you watch that out route, the quarter flat kind of gets out, um, or the curl flat helps you stop that. Whereas a quarter flat is gonna struggle um, to defend that route. Another really easy example as to why you might want to do this. And then lastly, uh, one of my favorite ones to kind of point out to people is this, and this isn't a massively popular concept this year, but motion slants or double slants really can hurt match. And you'll see here how no one guards the slant as he comes across the field. So that's, that's kind of some of the reasoning as to why you might want to consider putting a curl flat out there or a hard flat for certain situations. The problem is in cover six, whenever your opponent starts to pick up on your tendency, they're gonna go with a setup that basically looks like this, any good bunch player would, because they know that they're gonna trigger a different adjustment in your coverage, which is going to mean that this R1 is now going to uh, basically be one-on-one -on -one with the three rec to the sideline. And that is, is really where the biggest challenge is because a lot of times we take this three rec off the field. Um, and, and, and so again, let me give you another 
just kind of simple example of me taking this guy on the back side and three wrecking him and then you know and then also i'll show you this real quick with the safety we'll put him in a deep half kind of a standard adjustment um that you'll see for for people especially those people that are trying to kind of uh keep their coverage safe against bunch this is a very safe coverage in a lot of ways but in this way what you're going to notice is this corner route gets wide open because we basically glitch the outside quarter on the right side of the screen how does that happen well it's because of a, ch a check in trips known as the special check and the special check basically means that your number one uh, receiver in a trip set uh, will be played man lock by that player and so what happens is if we if we leave the quarter flat and we run that same exact route combination what you'll see is this quarter flat will actually follow the corner see how he follows the corner and has a really good chance to make a play on the football now i'm going to show you the same basic concept on the back side to a trips tied in um, trips tied in is a little bit easier to uh, kind of really dive into these rules because you don't have a um, bunch actually starts with a box check and then it changes into that special check based on the motion trips tied in is pretty much just the special check and so i'm going to go to cover six real quick and, and i'm just going to show you how this works so i'm in the quarter flat and i'm going to run a concept that you know basically looks somewhat you know kind of like if i can get this set up you're going to see i'm going to streak uh or PA corner is a great play, but I'm going to streak Johnson and then I'm going to um, take my slot and I'm going to put him on a corner route. So you see that right there. And then on the back side, we can do whatever. I'm going to cancel the play action just to have this. And so what you'll see is um, when you're in a traditional cover six, the quarter flat is actually responsible for the vertical and the three wreck in the inside quarter are responsible for the corner. So you see that inside corner play that really well and obviously take the ball away now if you want real in-depth analysis on this in particular defense i would really encourage you to get our patreon my my patreon membership is only ten dollars a month and it unlocks all of my men 22 offensive and defensive ebooks we've broken down the nickel normal the nickel 335 odd 245 odd 335 will trips tied in bunch bunch tied in u trips trio y flex a lot of really good um ebooks in there so if you want to get access to all of them in addition to that we're also going to give you any updates or any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active you get everything for just ten dollars a month there's a link in the description below if you want to become a patreon member today i think it's a great way to become a better madden player so if you want to check that out again there's linked in the description but you see what's happening here so now if i were to change the rules um of my defense and say you know what because again a route that is very popular from trips tied in is a tight end on a crosser or a tight end on a post. And so we might wanna put a curl flat out there to try to help defend that or to try to help defend a zig route, right? So what we can do, um, or so the problem becomes when we take that quarter flat and we say, you know what? I want you to actually stay in the flat. The problem is we never did anything with this guy. And so he's not going to help over the top. And so now you've kind of canceled your matching principles and what you'll see is that this triangle receiver should be open for a one play score. This is a massive challenge when defending a trips formation. Now, I wanna hit pause on that side of the field because it is a split safety coverage. And now I wanna turn my attention to the right side of the screen. You're gonna notice that on the right side of the screen, we have an interesting you know, coverage. And so um, it's really a, a cover two basically um, but if you are in palms, and let me jump out and grab palms, palms and cover six are going to basically play the same way. Okay. So with palms, you're getting, you're getting the same kind of change in the, in the defense. However, let's say for example, that I put my linebacker on the right side of the screen, um, into a court or a curl flat. I'm not, I'm not gonna have the same consequences. So let's say that I run a slant to Mike Evans and I run a streak to Rob Gronkowski and then maybe I run like a, a little curl route to the back or something. 
What you're going to notice here is that that curl flat is actually a great adjustment for that slant. As you see right there, it kind of hangs on the slant. Obviously, that safety in there would be a little bit better of an adjustment. It's very similar to cover six in that, that we don't really suffer the same consequences if we change the quarter flat or the cover six side that we would if we change the trip side. Hopefully this is making a little bit of sense in terms of how you can adapt this coverage. And please understand, it's really important that you understand like who can you actually mess with uh, for this coverage to still work like you want it to, to uh, work. So how do we, you know, how do we deal with this? Or what are some good adjustments um, from trips that's not going to result in us getting bombed over the top of the screen? Well, I think a real natural, easy adjustment from a cover six um, defense is to simply take this defensive end and drop him into a curl flat or a hard flat or a seam flat, any of those three, or even a vertical look for that matter. That's going to help stop some of those motion slants. That's going to help stop some of those zigs. That's going to help stop some of those concepts that are so difficult to stop whenever you're um, running the trips tied in. So you might do something like that. And then now you're able to use her here. You've got your little three-man rusher on the right. If you wanted to then drop, um, for example, this right of screen guy, you could drop him into a bluff blitz. And as you'll see here, he's going to help out kind of underneath coverage. And so you'll see that this, you know, it doesn't break at all. We get great coverage across the board and we get great pressure and sheds. Um, so it really comes back to, again, if you were in palms, another great question um, would be how do I adjust cover for palms? Um, another real quick pro tip with this, and I'm actually just going to show this out of cover six. What's interesting about cover six, and this is why I like it so much, is that you could actually turn this kind of into cover four palms. How would you do that? Well, what you would want to do is you would want to inside quarter the safety on the right, outside quarter the safety on the, or the corner on the right, and then drop this defender into a curl flat and you would probably want to use or this guy. Now this looks like cover four palms, if you think about it. Now, if you watch how this works again, from that standard route combination that kind of proves the point, you're gonna notice that this defends just like cover four palms. So you get a palms check essentially to the trip side. And then if you're playing in quarters or um, if you've ever played any quarters, when you're in a two by two set, um, you can then change some of these rules. So for example, a lot of people like from trips to run motion snaps um, or motion slants. So what I'm gonna do to kind of prove this is I'm gonna motion slant circle and I'm gonna streak um, triangle. And you might suspect that triangle is going to beat me over the top because that's what would happen out of a, a cover six look if I were to put this guy into a curl flat. However, if I was, you know, kind of already set in my match and, you know, kind of look something like this, even if I wasn't, I could still make this adjustment. But you see, we're here. Now, if they motion, then you can absolutely turn that curl, uh, guy on the left into a curl flat to help with the motion slant. And now you see that that motion slant is not open why because our special check changes when they motion right our special check changes when they motion so that's kind of a little bit of a tutorial on how your cover six um how you want to kind of craft your cover six um when you're building it because you don't want it to break um just because of kind of a mistake that you made you want it to to break because they have actually a good uh, a good route combo or something so you know, coming back to bunch and kind of closing this video out, I want to show you this real quick. So, so what do we do with this? Well, kind of similar to trips tied in. What we want to do is we want to have this guy Jones. Um, we want to have him able to help on certain things. If we want that to occur from bunch, we have to understand again, who can we drop? Who can we shift? Who can we change? We really can't change this guy because he's responsible for the vertical. He's also responsible for the underneath. And so we really can't change this guy. Um, but then you might say, well, okay, Cody, that's great. But man, they keep running, um, you know, they keep running this out route to the right side. And I'll show you what it looks like here. This is the flood play. And you see, I mean, it, it, it can be very frustrating. So how do we defend that if we can't change that? Well, what you can easily do against bunch and is a little bit different than trips is we saw how well this three rec um, plays if we leave him in his zone. 
So against Bunch, one of my favorite little adjustments is I will take this outside quarter flat and turn them into a curl flat because we're getting a box check. And then if they motion out, let's say they motion out out of that Z spot look, a lot of times what you'll find is that three rec will actually run out and go guard the corner. Now right there is a little late, um, but he does go out and go guard the corner. Another really easy thing, um, another really easy thing that we can do from this look is similar to trips tight end. Just take this defender and drop him into a curl flat zone. That's all you have to do. You can still send um, a simple pressure here. You have a three rec helping you in the middle. You might want to drop this guy on the left side into a hard flat. Um, but now what you'll see is that that pesky flood concept is not anywhere near as open because you've got some help from that defender, right? And of course, you could put a linebacker in there that will jump. Um, another really simple, another really, really, really simple adjustment uh, would simply be uh, to take this guy and say, you know what, we're going to put him in a curl flat. But if we see them motion, so like if we see them, you know, motion in Z spot, whoops, maybe if I can, if I can get it. So if we see that motion right there where he comes out, then we're just going to take that outside corner and drop him into an outside third. Something super simple like this. Now you get the reroute jam and you see that, you know, that third does play better on that route or something as simple as you could man him up man that corner up with that defender or you could re audible into cover six there's a lot of solutions um you know for those situations you know obviously you've got your cover six kind of adjusted but if they if they motion into um you know into this look let me move this guy so if they motion into this look right here something really simple um, that you could do is just drop that defensive end into his own and then man up that, that guy right there. Real simple. You still got your good pressure, and now the man coverage can kind of help you out. You could also, like I said, just audible back into cover six, or, you know, there's other things we could do, of course. But the bottom line is if you hard flat that guy, you have to understand what you're actually doing. And what you're doing is you're canceling a principal if they motion. If they don't motion, you have nothing to worry about. Most people from bunch don't. Most people from bunch don't motion a receiver out. They motion a receiver across. So, um, but you need to be aware of that. And so that's kind of what you're doing um, within this cover six defense. Cover six is the best defense, at least in my opinion, because it it really does a good job in a lot of different areas of defending both trips and two by two sets. It's adaptable. You saw I could change it into palms. I could change it into quarters based off the formation. Um, I've talked before about how you can actually put the zone drops on it and it will still play very effectively. So there's a lot that you can do with this defense. Um, and I, I've been hearing a lot of people just kind of giving up on the coverage because they keep giving up one play touchdowns because they're take, taking that defender and changing him. He's the key defender in the entire defense. You can't really fiddle or change that, but what you can do um, is you can you can do other things, right? So you could take Davis, um, for example, and drop him into a curl flat, and then now you know have your three rec on the back side here, and then you know you could even drop a vertical hook, something very simple. This is a two man rush. You're gonna get great sheds out of this, and you'll see just how good the cover six defense is for defending those pesky post routes from trip set. So again, that's kind of a tutorial on how this defense works and what you can do to kind of hedge your bet in key situations. I wanna thank you for watching the video, and if you wanna learn more about this defense, join our Patreon membership. It's only $10 a month to sign up and it gets you access to everything. All 20 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides are in the membership. And again, there's a link in the description if you wanna check it out. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you guys next time.